Welcome back everybody, we're here again in the Golf Academy at Blackpool North Shore and today we've got our hands on the tailor-made M6 driver. Okay, so tailor-made are advancing on from the M4 from 2018 to the M6. To me it looks very similar from the top, but it is a little bit different from the bottom. So the M4 was more of a red and blue kind of feel with that carbon black. With the M6, they've just kept that red colour with the driver. Okay, so in terms of looks compared to the M4, the actual top of the driver when it's behind the ball is very similar. You've still got the kind of the grey outline at the front of the driver, carbon black kind of feel on most of it, and that kind of circular red line around the side. So very similar to the old M4 driver. On the bottom, it's a slightly different story. So with the M4, it's more of a circular pattern. With the actual M6, I think it's more like a race car. So it looks like it's traveling at speed, starting big and then slowly going down smaller. Makes it look like it's traveling nice and fast. Okay, so in terms of the actual driver face, there are two very noticeable red dots on the face now. You have got some white little dots as well around the center, but it's these red marks that really interest me. Okay, so let's just have a little quick chat about what technology goes into the head, what they've kept and what they've introduced. So first we'll start off with the hammerhead. So they've still kept that kind of little hole in the bottom of the driver. It's going to really help you with them low centered hits, maybe with the heel or toe even, just to keep that ball speed and keep that consistency. They've also got the kind of twist face, so they've still got the kind of top part of the toe twisted back and the bottom part of the heel twisted back as well. It's supposed to straighten them shots out, so your kind of toey shots don't hook too much, your heel shots don't slice too much, and they stay on the fairway for you. Okay, so not only have you got twist face, but you've actually got injected twist face this time. So again, it's to help that ball speed, get ball consistency. But what it actually does is tailor-made start off with a driver that isn't legal. So it can actually transfer 100% of its energy into a golf ball. The rules of golf say that only drivers can do 83% though. So they start at the maximum they can be, and then they inject resin into the face to get it to come down to that 83%. So it's right on that limits or the legal limits of what a driver can do. So TaylorMade have also kept that adjustability. One thing I like with TaylorMade is to make it very simple. So we can loft up by two degrees and we can loft down by two degrees. Quite easy to take the head off. Self-explanatory on the actual hosel itself on how to change it, just fit straight back on. So very simple to do that. Okay, so the last thing to do now is actually give it a go. Let's give it a hit. Not going to go on Skytrack today because I want to test the actual M6 against the M5 driver. Talk about the differences. Just in this video, I just want to show you what the M6 driver is all about. Just going to hit maybe two or three shots now just to get a feel of what it's like and how it sits behind that golf ball. So for me, TaylorMade drivers are a little bit firmer off the face. You get that nice snappy shot when you hit the ball at the middle. And I could really feel I hit a couple there out the heel and I could feel that in my hands. So I'm hoping when we get on Skytrack, it will give me that forgiveness using the twist face. And with the injected twist face, I keep that ball speed. Okay, so overall with the M6 driver, it is a very nice looking driver. I did like the shots that I hit with it. And there's a packed load of technology that goes into this club. Once we compare it on the Skytrack, we'll give you some real numbers and see how it performs. If you want to come down and try it beforehand, try that injected twist face technology. That is brand new, just out this year for 2019. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the page, and we'll see you next time.